Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome couples travel trailer that's in the entry level category, but it's super popular because of its price point. This is a 2022 Forest River Cherokee Limited Model 234 DC. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Cherokee and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again and welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wolves RV Reviews Tobles. It's the World Sewing Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today I am super excited that we're taking a look at the first Cherokee on the show. Very excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will, you're Jen again. Hey guys. You're Will's wife. Yes, I'm filling in for Will. Uh, we're, we're here doing a bunch of towable videos today at RV1 in Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina, 704-743-5280. Thank you so much for having yes, us today. thank you. They've been so welcoming. And uh, Will and I just got over our battle with COVID, so we've been kind of alternating. He does a couple, I do a couple, so he can rest, so it's working out well. Well, who's gonna, who's gonna alternate for me, Jen? Right. <laughs> There's no one. Yeah, now we are right by the highway, so we apologize. But Jen, let's get started up here. Model is 234 DC. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet long. Jen, the dry weight? 5,788 pounds. And I don't know the hitch weight. We'll have all the specs right there. Always remember, you want to use weight distribution bar. Right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here, which is really nice. And then right here you can see that it's a Cherokee, really nice looking wolf. Sorry guys, we got this highway right here. <laughs> Dude, it like makes all the difference to me yeah, here. To right I know, there. but luckily you have a loud voice. <laughs> For once. Coming on down the side here, oh, we do have weird. nice storage. Now what I call this entry level gem, what, what I mean is the entry level category is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Yes. Okay. Um, so it, it's not as insulated as much as the fiberglass ones, but it's also significantly cheaper. Right. Right there, we do have nice stabilizing jacks. Okay. We do have a very nice power awning with LED lights and the more ride step above steps. And you know what I like about these steps? Ooh. Got a little Cherokee logo That's right cool. there. That's cool. Very nice. And, then this and this door, door is gen, cool. Yeah, it's very unique. I was using it as a mirror. <laughs> right, yeah. I thought it was transparent, but it's not. But I like how it's a Cherokee Limited. You do have the uh, thing right there, the window right there. Yeah. Really nice. Look. And then this does have the base camp package and the campfire package. Uh, I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm going to get it all based off of... Um, I'm gonna tell you more on the inside because it has like a little sheet. Yeah. We'll break it down for you. I just don't know what that means right now. <laughs> uh, and then right here. Oh, that's probably what the base camp means. Okay. Or the campfire. Let's look, is this an ice maker? Yeah, it I think is. So. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Little outdoor shower. Nice little fridge right here. And a graystone cooktop. Very, nice. very nice features right awesome. there. These tires, Jen, they're the Castle Rocks. I love those. ST205-75R15. Very nice. You can have TV on the outside here with speakers and everything. And right here is where you um, mount it. You know what I'm saying? So it's TV. very, very nice. And then right here is your black tank flush. Nice. And then right here is your leash lash. Leash oh. So this is a great place for you to hook up so yeah. uh, you can tie your dog down there, the Cherokee family. Cherokee cares about your pets. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. No ladder to get up on the roof, uh, but you do have this cargo rack. What's really nice about the cargo rack is if you add this, some manufacturers void your warranty. So the fact that it comes from Forest River is a nice feature. Yes. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. I love how they're continuing with the logo. And look at this rear tail light. Man. Is that not cool? Yeah. That talk talk about being all Cherokee out. Yeah. And this one actually already does come with the backup camera. Awesome. Coming around. They, they carried the brand through this very strong. Yes, they? yes, <laughs> yes. 
coming around. This is 30 amp right there. That's where you hook it up. Right there, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Very nice. Got your slide out right here. Outdoor shower, city water connection, water heater, and everything. Awesome. Well, Jen, the outside is chow chow. It looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go. Take a look. <laughs> Check out the inside, Jack. Cool. All right. Coming in here. So we have the living room area, fireplace down there, kitchen, U shaped dinette. Our bathroom over here. And then a nice pantry space. And then let me just show this bedroom yes. real quick. Like we got a door on each side, which is nice. And then that's your bedroom back here. You that's know what, Jen? <laughs> Here's what we're doing. I am going to take a picture of this and we're gonna show it on the screen right here. Bing! Good idea. Okay, because this is a lot of stuff, but let's go over the base camp package. But okay, so like that that's all an option, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then the campfire package which is really nice. So it's nice how it has both. And there's a lot of, you know, almost $5,000 in add-ons here, which is really nice. Awesome. Jen, where do we begin? Back or the front? Uh, front. Okay, okay. Okay, very unique. Is this two doors to the bedroom? It is, which is kind of cool. That's very weird. Normally, like, it's those pocket sliding doors. Yeah. Uh, so definitely unique right in here in the bedroom. We got storage there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Storage here. Like little Vanna white lights, okay? Yeah. You wanna hold this? I'll come around to the other side. Yeah. There you go. This is what's nice. I mean, I just pop on through. Yeah. And then we have more hanging storage here. Okay. And then another door up here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and right here's where you would mount your TV. Oh. And then here is wow oh, wow it's a ton of storage that's what goes back that's what i saw from the out so you can almost access things in the outside storage over there very very neat it would probably be kind of hard but if you really wanted yeah, to yeah definitely if you had long enough arms yeah and then uh over here is the entertainment center you got a place for a tv no tv but a place for a tv not a problem um you got you got the speaker right there uh the storage that. yeah storage right here and a fireplace right there okay and then it's kind of not a cross but like here's your sofa we're going to talk about this diagonal later. yep diagonally <laughs> what, what's that from i don't know it's oh diagonally yeah oh harry potter yes, yes you yes. didn't say that even the wrong way right oh <laughs> and, then, and then look at this guys i love oh. these blinds don't do that, Jen. Oh. I love these blinds. I think these are the ze these are zebra blinds. I think they're so cool and nice. Nice little jackknife sofa here. Um, I hate the cushion arms. Yeah. Little pet peeve of mine. Uh, but again, this is price point unit and everything, so it's very nice. But what I do love, Jen, what I do love is this awesome U-shaped yes, dinette. I noticed that. U-shaped dinettes are fantastic. I love them. They're big, they're nice. Um, you got storage oh, right there. That's cool that it's a drawer. Yep. Got another one over here. Very cool. Easier to get all that stuff in there. Yes, and the UC Dinette's great. This does drop down to make a bed. It's gonna be a lot bigger and more comfortable bed than the jackknife, mm -hmm. but I just much prefer U-shaped dinettes. This is actually where I would be sitting, actually. In the I'd corner. Be, yep, in the corner with the laptop. You know, I got my zebra shades going on here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Very nice zebra. I, I love. Like, I feel like I would have a seizure. When they come. <laughs> I love my zebra shades. I think it's very. But look at how big this window is. I mean, doing that just yeah. let in a ton yeah. of natural light. I love the U-shaped dinette. I can't tell you guys enough, and it's very, very nice. And does this pivot at all or anything? No. Oh, okay, I was just wondering. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. And Jen, do you know what the MSRP is? I don't. Neither do I. This unit literally just came in um, and it was brand new. So I'm like, I want to review it. I don't know the price, but let's go to the internet, see if we can find a price on it. 
great. And again, big shout out to RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. Their phone number is 704-743-5280. Thank you so much for the hospitality here today. You guys have been excellent. Um, we really appreciate you guys letting us be here today. Yes, thank you so much. And Jen, let's continue the video. Yeah. We're in the kitchen. We have, um, we have like, not solid surface countertops, but um, I love the look of these, kind of a marble look to them. And then we have a drawer here, another drawer, and then a nice big uh, farmhouse style sink. Okay. I love that. And I like how this is one piece. Yeah, I mean, very I nice. I see where you'd want maybe two pieces, but it's really easy to take in and out. Um, we have um, a pull down faucet and then a little soap dispenser, which is cool. Very, very nice. Got your window over here. Okay. And then some storage up there. Nice. I like the. Uh, I know. I love that. What's it called? Um, I don't know. It's, it's not like, frost. No, it's not a frost. Crystal. It, well, it's just kind of like a, a decorative glass, I guess you could say. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. Oops, exactly. Storage underneath there. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah, we got like space for a little trash can under okay. there. Okay. Okay. And then up here we have a regular microwave. Nice. Um, your um hood range. Hood range. <laughs> yes, ma'am have to honor will and then we have a three burner cooktop and a little cutting board what does that do it's you like a cutting board backsplash can you like lay it down here sure you can lay it oh anywhere gosh. oh it's magnet oh so like look i mean it magnets to that but then it magnets to this too and it's probably better to cut on that than to cut on the glass yeah, i would imagine just make sure you don't turn the burners <laughs> right uh, oh my gosh it's strong okay i'm gonna put this back and then we have um, a graystone, you know, the cooktop in the oven. And then over here is a compressor fridge. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're getting good, Jen. I know. I'm learning. Hang on. Hang on. Very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, that wraps up the kitchen. Well, we got the pantry. Oh, yes. So over in this corner, huge, huge pantry. That's awesome. Wow. Space. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. Especially for the size. Really yep. Nice. It's now time for the shower test. You know what guys look at that temperature and you know north carolina is a nice middle spot for um for will jen and myself yeah. they live in maryland i live in florida so i definitely think we're going to come back here after the hershey show let us know guys deep down in the comments below let us know if you'd like us to do a meet and greet in north carolina in yeah. charlotte um because i really like this area like because it's really not that hot right now yeah and maybe we're just hitting it at the right time of the year i get it i get it mm -hmm. but the the GM is from Florida, and he said that it the temperature is like really nice here year round. So right. Who knows? Well, he was also from Naples, uh, which we all know that Fort Myers, Naples area. That's different from That's, Tampa. Oh yeah, that we recorded that. Oh, that yeah. was hot. That hot was hot on another level. Right here, we do have a radius shower. There is some antifreeze in there, so I'm not going to walk in because radius showers never get the shower test seal of approval. We don't like that sh radius showers. Never have, never will. <laughs> uh, right there, we got the medicine cabinet yes. right there and nice little sink action and storage right there storage. now this one's going to be a plastic toilet just like two days ago's episode but i'm not as upset jen because again this is a price point unit that was yeah. more of a luxury unit this one's more yeah. price point this does not get a prime poop position but it, it is what it is with this unit yeah positioning doesn't look bad just but plastic. position's not bad it's just plastic mm -hmm. so it just can't pass yeah. same with the radius showers this might be the biggest radius shower in the world, Jen. It's still radius. Right. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time to give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do what we like. Yes. First thing, I'm going first. I know. I knew I you I love the U-shaped dinette, Jen. I think this U-shaped dinette's fantastic. I think it's awesome. And I just think it's super, super cool. Yeah. That is number one. Nice Jen. sleeping space too. Yes, number two. Okay, number two. Ooh, I gotta think, I gotta think. I... Okay, number two. This pantry space. In a small travel trailer yes. like this, you're 100% right. Yeah, this is the same size pantry we have in our big Cougar fifth wheel. So that's awesome that you get all that space. Um, you know, you probably wouldn't be full time in something like this, but I mean, if you went out for a long trip mm -hmm. with kids, you got plenty of space for food. Yes, ma'am. And then that's number two. And the number three is going to be like all these packages and add-ons. There's a lot of good stuff here, guys. Again, we're, we're going to show it up on the screen at the yeah. same time. But but to get all this in the Cherokee package is really awesome. And Jen, I'm going to combo that with, you know what? What? These zebra shoes. No! 
that. <laughs> no. Great. So that's three things we like about it. Jen, now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Would you like to go first? <laughs> Do you see for she? No. I, I hate, love them. I hate them. Okay, please leave down in the comments if you, whether you like, I feel like you can only like or hate these. Please let us know because so, I want to win this. Fight. I don't know, man. I like the zebra I shades. Just don't, I don't get it because it's like you either want you either you either want a lot of light coming in, which I understand you can change it, or you want it dark. And I'd rather just have the two different lines. Leave but a comment down below. Let us know. It's just kind of ugly. <laughs> okay, that's number one. Jen, please sit down again. Oh, okay. Number two dislike for me, guys, is this TV entertainment position. Oh, yeah. I never have liked that. I never will like that. You're turning your head. But again, this is a smaller travel trailer. It kind of is what it is. Yeah. Um, it's not a deal breaker. I just don't like turning my head sideways. And I do kind of wish it came with at least a TV in the living room, but like it is a price point travel trailer. So yeah, for sure. Terrible. So that's number two. And then Jen, do you have a number third? I do have a number third okay, if you, you don't. Then. Okay, I'm going again. So I'm going to combo this. I don't like the jackknife sofa. I don't like these cushions. But also, and here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to give it props. I do like the individual doors, but I never like the double doors. Most of the time it's that pocket style. Mm -hmm. I like the one door with the walk around bedroom. Yeah. But it, it just is what it is. You I know? think like, uh, I, I don't mind the, the side doors if the bed's really tight, but I agree. It, it would have been nice if they could have worked in like two pocket doors. Something like, yeah. no, no, not, no, no. I'm saying I don't like the two doors. Oh, you just want one big door. I just want one big door. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's it, Jen. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Thank you to RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. Again, guys, leave down in the comments below. Let us know if you'd like us to do a meet and greet in Charlotte area. This is Concord. 704-743-5280. Um, Thank you so much for having us today. We really do appreciate the hospitality. And uh, we have links to their website down below. Give them a call. Make sure you tell them you saw an RV on Matt's RV Reviews. And they're going to take amazing. They're going to take even better care of you than what they did of us. And they took really great care of us. Yes. Jen, is there anything you want to say? Thank you guys so much for having us on. Please, we got to settle the zebra blind zebra blinds debate. So I think let, it's settled. But yeah, okay. let us know if you like them or dislike them. And uh, but th thank you guys so much for watching. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we just appreciate you guys watching. And if you haven't subscribed to Jen, Will and Jen's YouTube yes. channel. Make sure you subscribe to that as well. Yeah, it gets behind the scenes content of all this kind of stuff. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Jen, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.